Father, in the name of Yeshua, I come to you. I plead the blood over this video. For I know, I know that I need your covering and I need your protection. And I need your protection in the heavenlies in the spirit realm. For we do not fight against flesh and blood, but we can't fight against powers and principles of the air. So I plead to them. And I want to speak a little bit about the purpose that Satan does to use people. Whether you be a minister behind the pulpit, or whether you're the one that lay person that sits out there in the pew. There are many, so many false doctrines that are going on and that are laced with the New Age movement that are satanic, that, um, that comes up against other ministries that are very holy and of God and of Yahweh. And they speak words that they don't know of. And they speak against beings that they don't know of. You can go to Jude, and it's just a little short chapter. It's very plain that these people would come right into your your feast and your in your services and and destroy. That's what they are meant to do: to destroy, destroy with the lies. Satan doesn't love you. Satan hates the ground that you're made of. He hates you because you were made in the image of God. The very God that kicked him out of the Holy of Holies because he fell. He became evil. He looked at himself and he seen how beautiful he was. Because Ezekiel tells you, how beautiful God made him. God said, you said, I made you beautiful. Laced with every stone. He, he could sing. And this is not to glorify him. This is to tell you that he fell. And he, when he fell, he fell a long ways. But the reason why he hates you is because you're made in the image of God. God me. He hates you because Yeshua was willing to come to this earth and die, bleed, die on the cross. He hates you. He wants to destroy you. He wants to take you to the pits of hell. For his glory. For his pleasure. If he can deceive you where you will speak against the very prophets that Yahweh has set forth for this last day. And I, I want to tell you, Elizabeth is one of them. She's not the only one, but she's one of them. And when you speak against any of them, the true prophets, then you are speaking condemnation back onto yourself. And you don't realize that. You may say you love Jesus. You may say you serve Jesus. But if you go out to lie and tell blatant lies and tell things that are not true about any holy holy prophet in ministry you are putting condemnation on yourself that's exactly what Satan wants happen and I agree for you, you I, I do agree in my heart for you because you are causing 
hell to be opened more because it says that hell was made for Satan and his angels. But because humanity wants to believe these lies, they condemn their own selves and, and, and the mouth of hell is widening every day. Few, few will go to heaven because of this, because of the lies that Satan set up in, in the churches, bringing in, in the New Age stuff, uh, putting ministers up that are teaching very principles that are totally against the Word of God. Satan has invaded the church, rejewed, rejewed. I mean, his, he, he brings people into the body to destroy the body. And when these things were spoken and said, and you, and you caused one little baby to stumble, it would have been better for a stone, millstone to be tied around your neck and you cast me into the sea. Because Yeshua died for those babies. My heart is grieved. It is so grieved that people that calls ourselves Christians that say, I believe in Jesus Christ. Can tell lies. And it strictly says that no liar should have a part in heaven. So you're condemning your own self. I know Elizabeth and I vouch for her character. I know her. I really know her. And I know she is a prophet. And I know that Yahweh has chosen her. Now, this is my video. If you don't like it, I, I, that's too bad. I'm sorry. She don't know I'm making it, but I have to do this because I know her, her character. And it, and it, and she is of God, of Yahweh, and she stands for his principles. And when you think of things like these, the one that's putting them in there, and you think they're of God, then yeah, they're of God, the God of this world, of Satan. You speak with his lies continuously, condemning your own self. Lord, have mercy upon your soul. And I plead the blood over, I just keep pleading the blood over Elizabeth and, and everyone that's with her. And I plead the blood over myself and everybody that's with me. Um, I just plead the blood that that somewhere you will listen to the truth and come back to him come back to Yeshua the time is growing short judgment is upon us all and he will judge you and that's what Satan wants is you to fall he wants you to fall into hell I ask the Father to put his hands upon you right now in the name of Yeshua, that Jesus Christ, the one you say that you love, I ask him to penetrate that dark heart 
because there are some things I know that I am going to have to teach that you are going to be mad at. Not you, but Satan's going to be mad at. Because we struggle with going against Satan's powers. But I have to speak this. It's on my heart and it's heavy. It's heavy. For you are condemning your own sin. You are condemning your own sin and speaking against. I have those prophets. Praise be to the Holy Spirit. You will be done.